Welcome back to a brand new video here at Off Scratch. So if you are a golfer with bad knees, you play golf, you've got sore knees and you've got sore knees during the golf swing, then this is a video that you will want to watch. Let's get into it. Okay, Alex. So I imagine you've come across quite a few players who sure. say their knees hurt while they're playing golf or certainly while they're practicing. So it's quite a common thing that we get with most golfers as well. And we thought it'd be quite interesting to share with you why you may be getting sore knees during the golf swing. So if you set up for me, Alex, we'll have a little look at the movements of the swing ideally. So if you were to sort of rotate yourself into your backswing as normal, you can see here, Alex is obviously a very good player. So we've got loads of hip turn into the backswing and it's his knees here that are supporting a lot of the body weight and the spinal angle that goes on above. But a lot of the damage can be done more into the downswing. So as Alex comes into impact here, we can see again a really nice clearance of that lead hip there. And we can see a straightening of this left knee and just a softening here of this right knee. And it's that hip turn that's allowing you to keep those knees in a nice natural yeah. position. But what we see with a lot of players is they don't have great hip turn then we get a manipulation of spinal angle, and that's where the knees take a lot of the load into impact. So in, in essence, because we're tight here, the knees then take the force of the yeah. swing. So you will see players that come in for lessons and they have this like buckling position yeah, here coming definitely. into the ball, where if you think all the force has dropped down into the lower body, as a way to protect the lower back. So the, the brain's really clever, it's thinking, I don't want to do this because that's going to hurt. So I'll do the opposite movement here because we don't get this nice fluid hip turn. I also see it now as well as in the downswing, in the backswing as well, because a lot of people don't rotate here and then they sort of feel like, oh, I feel like this is almost like I'm turning against this knee. Yeah. Whereas actually, like you just mentioned there, if you soften the hips and allow the hips to turn, you soften the knees and you don't feel as much of a strain on the outer part of your knee. Correct. So what can golfers do? Like people will be playing now going, think I get to the 15th hole that like we are here and they're going, well, my knee's starting to work. Yeah. What can they do? Because a lot of people will think it's very knee related, but actually we're probably saying you need to loosen the hips. Yeah. So the knees are not really designed to create that much rotation at all. Your knees are designed to flex and extend, which is basically this and that. So they're not really designed to create that much rotation. The rotation we want to achieve as a golfer comes from the hips and a little bit at the ankles as well. So we spoke in a video last week or the week before about just turning the toes out very yep. slightly at a dress. So going from somewhere like that to somewhere like that. And you yeah. can look at that from player cam there. I'll do a video there. You can see what I see there. And a lot of people feel like a bit like a duck when they do that. Yeah. And you know, you look down and you think that can't be right. I look like I'm on the clock face at like almost quarter to yeah. three position compared to where you originally were. But all that does is just allow you to create a little bit of hip turn more naturally without really having to do anything. And what that should do is allow you to then turn into that backswing, Alex. You feel like you've got a bit more space yeah. and this knee here is not under so much pressure. It straightens a little bit naturally. And then as you come into the downswing, you have a little bit more space on that lead hip where you can straighten up and out of that lead leg there. So it's just a real simple cheat to instantly help you get into better positions. But, okay, that's a little cheat. What would you suggest? I mean, I'm not gonna do any exercise on this video. People go to off scratch to get these in their hole. But what would you suggest? Like doing some hip mobility stuff yeah. and, and, and that would be a great way of looking at that. For sure. I think the longer term solution to this, because it's not something where you go, right, I've done that now. I'll have never have any pain yeah. ever again. You know, there has to be some more consistent work done at this to stop it really happening in the longer term. Things like we've got to get some hip mobility in there. We've got to get the pelvis kind of rotating right and left fluidly so it can take the speed of your golf swing. Yeah. But the key thing is the strength around the glutes, the legs and the core to maintain all of this posture here so that we're not dropping. You know, it's the legs that can't prop the body up. So they kind of buckle with all the weight of the golf swing. Yeah. Bizarrely, I would actually recommend our uh, bring back your speed because that's all about strengthening this. Yes. Even though it's not a per se, this will stop your knee pain. It's very much about building better legs, building a better core, yeah. and then combining it with goal coaching from myself. This is exactly what we do here at Off Scratch. So use that little cheat, use that little trick to almost as a cheat code, like Nat said, to sort of put a prevention on the knee pain. But if you want long-term uh, pain-free golf, we suggest having a look at our program or seeking further advice.